Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a box that I feel like is definitely a contender for best new box of the year. Now I don't know if that's actually going to be a category for the Nobody Awards when we do them in November, but if it is or if it was, absolutely this would be in the top two, I think. So it is, of course, Simply Hosted. This is a fantastic box that has been sent to me for review since the beginning, and I've really, really enjoyed it, and I've really enjoyed seeing how she incorporates subscriber feedback into the subsequent boxes. I love it because it is different from anything else out there that I know of, at least. It is not just a hostess box. It is not just an entertaining box. It is not just a home decor box. It's really all centered around the idea of creating beautiful and memorable gatherings that, yeah, are kind of centered on food as they tend to be but she really makes it easy for whoever is doing the hosting in terms of providing some of the decor some of the elements that will make the experience feel special and curated but also some fantastic recipes some instructions on how to make the prep as easy as possible whether you're spreading it out over a couple of days or just a few hours and then of course even the shopping list so she's really made it a little bit more effortless to seem like a lot of effort has gone into it because she's put a lot of effort into the box. So let me give you the rundown and of course I'll leave all of the important information for you in the description box below as well. Now the OG box is a uh, place settings for six folks and you can always do additional if for example one season you want to have uh, eight place settings and that is $2.49 per box. Now if you're able to do an annual subscription up front it brings it down by $10 per box so the total is going to be $9.56 for the year. Now you always get these beautifully wrapped items with nice little tags on them but annual subscribers also get the additional uh, benefit of a free gift uh, when they renew after a full year as well as the really nice a recipe holder it's a, a, this really sweet binder that has nice plastic sleeves now I have to get some more sleeves because I have filled all of mine up. It's got the nice dividers so that you can divide the recipes and the menus. And um, I just thought that was a really nice touch and very thoughtful for annual subscribers. If you are interested in just getting a one-time box, maybe you don't necessarily entertain very much. I admit I don't myself because I have such a small space. Uh, and you just know that for maybe the holidays, you wanna do a special event, a big dinner, then you can definitely do that. And the box is just $20 more. The shipping is included in the contiguous US states. It's just $20 more for Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. Now, again, I have a smaller space and I don't entertain as much, so she was really gracious in working with me at the very outset in creating a box with a settings for four. So that brings it down by about $50. So it is $199 per quarter, or again, you can save $10 per box, and an annual place setting for four box is going to be uh, $756, all right? And you still get all of those extras as an annual subscriber if you are able to do that up front. Now this season I do have a code for you. The code is going to be Hi Noel, and that will get you a free gift. That's not your annual uh, renewal gift. That's just an extra gift and it kind of depends on which subscription you get for the value of that gift. So if you do an annual uh, subscription for six, that's the one that is $9.56 for the whole year, you're going to get a gift that is worth $75. If you do an annual subscription for or four, you're going to get a gift that is worth $50. And then if you do a quarterly or one-time purchase, the gift is worth $25. So there's different gifts. They're all going to be fabulous. I have no idea what they are, but I'm sure they'll be great. But basically, uh, if you are doing any of those subscriptions, uh, it's basically an additional 10% in value for your box because of the value of the free gift. So I thought that was a kind of cool way for her to do that and make sure that it was tiered to match the level of the subscription that you're able to do. So let's go ahead and get into it though because there's always so much to show you. Uh, but again, I will put all of that information for you below. The box is really big and right on top, I do have a couple of little envelopes and of course all of our paperwork that I will eventually transfer into my binder. But I wanted to go ahead and read this little like note from Nikki who is just really wonderful. I think she's very supportive of other boxes as well because she is a subscriber of them too. I hope your autumn is full of wonderful days spent with friends and family. Love that personal touch. And then here is our golden envelope of goodness. It says great gatherings start here. I absolutely love again the intention behind this box. So on top we have our pamphlet where we get a nice little letter, a note from her. 
As the leaves turn golden, the air grows crisp. We invite you to embrace the warmth and beauty of the season with our fall tablescape and comforting menus. Uh, you've told us how much you enjoy using the items from our box to decorate throughout your home and that your tables come in all shapes and sizes from cozy and compact to grand and spacious. For that reason, we've designed our fall curation with flexibility in mind. Our fall treasures can be grouped together on your cozy table, arranged in a circle or arranged in a line on a longer table. And then inside she tells us all about the beautiful items. You guys are getting a little sneak peek here these are awesome I'm so excited and then she does give us a quick rundown here on the back so there are eight delicious and easy to prepare recipes two shopping lists four preparation timelines of course the menus and then all of these wonderful wonderful items so I don't want to take too much time reading it I know I've already talked a lot but this is just an example of there's always two menus so this is the fall harvest menu listen to these you guys the cocktail is an apple cider sangria it's the same on both menus the appetizer same on both menus so it's a fall harvest menu and a cozy fall menu the appetizer is fall flatbreads yum the main course for the fall harvest menu is butternut squash ravioli with sage and browned butter and a pear and arugula salad for the cozy fall menu you have a first course of butternut squash soup and then a main course of shepherd's pie and sauteed green beans i oh i don't know which one i would choose i think the butternut squash ravioli and pear and arugula salad sound really fantastic and then they both have the same dessert which is apple crisp with vanilla ice cream uh amazing and then they even have suggested wine pairings for both menus so we have the sangria uh, recipe the appetizer the fall flatbreads we have the main course with a salad on the fall harvest menu the main course with a side of sauteed green beans on the cozy fall menu so there's uh basically four four recipes right there so let's see that's six plus the dessert that's amazing that's so amazing one two three four five six seven eight there's our eight because we have the shepherd's pie and sauteed green beans and then we had the first course of soup with the uh, cozy fall menu so she has them really beautiful you can see all of the like decoration on there and then really easy to read uh menus in terms of the ingredients the directions so that was for the fall flatbreads you know she has gorgeous images on all of them for the shepherd's pie the pear and arugula salad the apple crisp and then this is really cool too stress-free hostess hacks so putting it all together for each menu you can do it to prepare in advance where you can start one week prior or you can do it on the day of so both menus have two different timelines to do and then finally i know i'm getting to the box i'm getting to the box we have our grocery list for the cozy fall menu for four or of course if you got the box for six it would be for the box for six or the fall harvest menu so it's really easy and it's even divided into you know meat and fish dairy and eggs bread and frozen so that you don't have to go hunting all around the grocery store a million times and you can be really focused in your shopping too because ain't nobody got time for that right so all right let's go ahead and get into the box which is resting precariously beside me i cannot wait to see all of the items oh goodness all right we have a lot to see so see the cute little tags on here so this one says pumpkins please pumpkins will always mean autumn to us but we wanted a fresh take this neutral color and lightweight make them perfect for decorating anywhere in your home when they're not on your tablescape oh my gosh so i'm gonna have to slowly and carefully peel those tags off later because they they really seem stuck on there with like double double stick tape or something but let me see if i can at least get into the pumpkins and you guys know i have a pumpkin problem so she is just feeding that but this is lovely it is very lightweight but i love the rustic color of it that is awesome okay it looks like we got another one so because it has the same tag on it so we got two pumpkins and how wonderful because yes they would be a great centerpiece if you do have a bigger table like she was talking about or you can just kind of use them to de decorate around your house those are fantastic let's see i wonder you guys i think there's another pumpkin oh my gosh and they all have tags so she is showing a set of three here in the booklet and indeed we have a set of three look how realistic the uh, stem on those is so here we go I, I'm gonna try to hold all the pumpkins you guys oh my gosh there look at all of our pumpkins those are fantastic all right so great decor items for your table or just around your home 
then some of these things might be a little bit more manageable for me now so that I can pull them out and get this get this box out of my way oh goodness uh, something is very heavy and it's about to make the box roll off of my table so we have two gorgeous pillar candles look at the beautiful wrapping I love this like crinkle paper it says this beautiful nine inch pillar candle has a unique softly textured finish handmade in Massachusetts by mole hollow candles it will burn for one hundred hours but see how special this is if um i know that she does this so that i can show you what it looks like but if you were giving this as a hostess gift whether it was a subscription or a one-time gift yes you are kind of telling the hostess that you would like them to host and uh invite you over for dinner because you have confidence in their ability to do so in in their execution ability uh, i do think that it would be very appreciated because they have this experience of opening it up so we have a handmade pillar candle in this gorgeous kind of cranberry color two substantial pillar candles included in this box handmade by local craftspeople in Massachusetts. We are happy to support Mohal Candles, a woman-founded family business. We prefer unscented candles for your dining table so they don't interfere with the aromas of the meal. These nine-inch candles have a burn time, 100 hours each. I won't uh, unbox the other one just because I wanted to show you how it looks wrapped and unwrapped, and it is stunning. These are huge. These are amazing. Of course, you can... Uh, light them both at the same time i think they would look beautiful or you could just have them in different places in your house all right we have another little bundle it says these darling burgundy and green pears can be grouped in a bowl nestled throughout other goodies in this box or displayed on a salad plate for a finishing touch oh my gosh and then we just have this little bit of like fabric to tie it all together sometimes they're stuck on there the tags and sometimes they're uh tied on there with string oh my gosh these are so sweet too and there's a ton of them these sweet little bears okay oh i just dropped one but there's five of them oh my gosh and they look so cute and rustic oh my gosh you guys but there are five i just happened to drop one but those will look lovely even paired with even paired with the pumpkins don't worry they seem pretty uh pretty pretty durable it's just down here by my toes don't you worry all right, what else have we got? We have, ooh, this is a cute little box. These lovely burnished gold place card holders can be used in so many ways. Great for getting guests to sit next to new friends. They also work as part of the tablescape. And look at the cute wrapping on this. Oh gosh, I'm so excited about these. Oh my goodness. I'm making a huge mess, but it's a delightful mess to make. Oh, and she even included the little name cards with this little bit of gold foil leaf. Oh, those are so sweet. I love these. Oh my goodness. I have to get these pears out of the way. So these sweet little pumpkin place holders, they come from Kate Aspen, which is a great vendor that we see in other boxes, a woman owned company in Duluth, Georgia. They're perfectly weighted for your place settings or to label items on a buffet or charcuterie board, wipe with a damp cloth to clean. So they are nice and hefty. Look how beautiful those are. Look at all the pumpkins. Those are so cute. I love, love, love those. Where did I just put the place cards? I just put them somewhere. Oh, goodness. Where did I just put them? I love that she thought about that. And we got four of them. They're each individually wrapped so that they don't get messed up. And the fact that she also included the place cards to go in there. And there's several. So, you know, eventually you will have to make new ones. But maybe you have the same folks over if it's, if it's for family events. You could just in, take your calligraphy pen and do a really good job and then save the cards and put them out each time you have everyone over. Those are beautiful. These are probably going to be my favorite item, honestly, because I love little gold accents. You know I love pumpkins. Um, I just think that is a really, really beautiful simple item that doesn't take up a lot of space to store either oh my gosh i forgot she always includes like an edible treat in here too and this time we have some caramels oh my gosh talk about fall feels definitely fall feels here okay we have a couple more things Oh, this is to go with our pillar candles. These candle plates are made by one of our favorite Colorado companies, Rosy Rings. We love the way the soft gold reflects the candlelight. You're sure to find many uses for them long after the candles are gone. So they're kind of like candle coasters, but um, you guys know how I love me some gold accents. Ah, uh, I love that she thought she thinks of everything. These are beautiful, also individually wrapped. I'm running out of space. Oh, so it does say rosy rings that's the name of the company but look how they're like kind of wonky 
Aren't those great? I, you could use those for many candles, even after you've burned these for a hundred hours. Uh, those look perfect. Ugh, perfect. Especially as they start to burn down and they're a little bit glowier. I mean, I kind of wish that it wasn't printed, honestly, like right on there, but I, I love how they're kind of wonky and they've got that beautiful soft gold finish. Those are awesome. So we got two of those. There's still more to go. I'm still loving on those pumpkins. These large 20 inch square cotton napkins are from a woman owned company, April Cornell, headquartered in Burlington, Vermont. I love how she's working with so many women owned US companies. The unexpected colors are an elegant take on autumn. Machine wash, cool. Tumble dry low. We love that. I mean, if there you ever get napkins that are like dry clean only, look, look elsewhere for your napkins. <laughs> so these are lovely. All right, let me open this up. And we've gotten a lot of really pretty cloth napkins from Simply Hosted already. Oh, these are neat. I like that they are fall colors. Um, these are actually more beautiful in person than the image that is in the pamphlet here. Really, really lovely. I'm looking at it here. Wow, 20 by 20, they're really soft. You can kind of see they like aren't super stiff. So you could do some fancy napkin folding with these, but maybe not like the ones where you need the like really stiff cloth. Although I guess you could add starch if you really wanted to, but I, I love them. I think those are really pretty. And what's nice about them is yes, they're very fall, but you could use these throughout the year depending on the color scheme in your home. All right, and then finally we have a loud friend outside. We have something to match and pull everything together. This beautiful 72 inch cotton table runner provides the perfect backdrop for all the rich colors of fall. Machine wash cool, tumble dry low. I'm guessing it might be from the same company. And uh, yes. So it's kind of got a little bit of a different finish to it. It does say April Cornell on there. It's a table runner. So that's really long for those of you who have those nice long tables. I would love that one of these days. But you can kind of see it's like a slightly different material. These are really, really soft. This has a little bit more of that stiffness to it. Um, let's see. And this is the width of it. This is the full width. But this would look really beautiful. Of course, you can do your tablescape. I mean, she made it so you don't even have to think about your tablescape because you could put the pumpkins along the center of it and then you can put the pears interspersed along there if you want you've got your pillar candles you've got your lovely lovely name card holders I think I, I know I, I don't have fancy enough or big enough dinners but even if you're having a table setting for four and even if your name is one of the ones on there does this not make it feel so much more special oh my gosh okay so I haven't like completely opened everything because there was so much, but I just think these recipes sound delicious. But you guys, again, let me know which one you think sounds the best or the one that you would be most interested in making. So oh, apple cider sangria sounds really good to me. The fall flatbreads also sound great and snacky and you know, you can be walking around listening to music before you all sit down to your pumpkin. Um, it says main course again for the fall harvest menu, butternut squash ravioli with sage and brown butter with a pear and arugula salad. Those are two separate recipes. All Both menus end with an apple crisp with vanilla ice cream, classic. And then the cozy fall menu, same cocktail, same flatbread appetizer, but a first course of butternut squash soup, also classic, main course of shepherd's pie and sauteed green beans. So yeah, a little bit more like homey, cozy, comfort foody. Um, and then the dessert. I mean, you can't go wrong. I think the butternut squash ravioli is, is the brown, anything with brown butter, sage and brown butter sounds so, so good. All right, so everything that we got. I'm just, I have pumpkins everywhere. So don't forget, we got those lovely caramels. We got these beautiful 20 by 20 napkins. Honestly, like this is not the kind of pattern that I personally would pick out, but I really, really like it. It's like kind of classic, kind of vintage, like kind of rustic with the colors. And I don't know, it's like one of those things. That's one of the things I love about subscription boxes is things that I wouldn't ever think of like my aesthetic kind of are. Um, so I love that people challenge me that way. Uh, the table runner to match, slightly stiffer fabric, pulling everything together with these. This is this is still my favorite, these pumpkin place cards with the little cards. I think she gave us enough for probably four dinners. Uh, three of these decorative pumpkins, very lightweight, very durable. <sighs> five of these pairs to kind of decorate. You could also put them like right next to the little name cards if you wanted to get fancy. Um, I dropped one, but it's fine. And then 
this is lovely too. This last uh, pairing, of course, which is two of these giant pillar candles because they look good in pairs along with these beautiful candle plates or candle coasters, which of course you could use as all kinds of things, trinket dishes, what have you. Another fabulous, fabulous Simply Hosted box. I just, oh, I'm so excited. I thought the last one was the lemon themed one for summer. It was gorgeous. And before that we had that cabbage platter. Honestly, it gets better every time. And it's always so seasonal, so well thought out. I have to find a, another storage solution for my pumpkins though because it's starting it's starting to really be a problem you guys so if you have any suggestions for pumpkin storage in a really small space uh with limited garage space let me know but at least i don't have to think about it for a few months because these pumpkins these are going out as, as soon as i'm done filming this thank you so much for watching this unboxing if you are interested don't forget to use that code hi noel to get that free gift and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing